In this lecture, we will be seeing another example of conversion of Moore machine to Billy machine. So here is our question. Convert the given Moore machine to its equivalent Mealy machine. So here the transition table for the Moore machine is given and our task will be to draw the transition table for the Mealy machine using this transition table and from the transition table of Mealy machine that we obtain, we will draw the transition diagram for the Mealy machine. Okay, so here let's see this Moore machine. We have states Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 and the inputs are 0 and 1 and these are the states to which these states go on getting inputs 0 and 1 and the outputs are also zeros and 1s. So we see that in this example our inputs are zeros and 1s and outputs are also zeros and 1s. Okay, so first let us try to draw the transition table for the Mealy machine using this transition table of Moore machine. Okay, so here we have the transition table for our Mealy machine and here also just like the Moore machine we have four states Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 and Q0 is a starting state. And as this is a Mealy machine the outputs which were given here should be associated to the transition now and not to the state as it was for the Moore machine. So let's try to associate the outputs to the transition and fill up this Mealy machine's transition table. So let's see for state Q0. Q0 on input 0 where does it go? It goes to Q1. Goes to Q1. And what is the output associated to Q1? Output associated to Q1 is 0. So I'll give a 0 here as the output. And Q0 on input 1 where does it go? It goes to Q2. Goes to Q2. And what is the output associated to Q2? It is 1. So I give a 1 as the output here. Come to state Q1. Q1 on input 0 goes to Q3. Q3 and what is the output associated to Q3? It is 1. Okay, where does Q1 go on getting input 1? It goes to Q2. And what is the output associated to state Q2? It is 1. Okay, now come to state Q2. Q2 on input 0 goes to Q2 itself. And what is the output associated to Q2? It is 1. And on input 1, Q2 goes to Q1. Q1 and what is the output associated to state Q1? Look at this, it is 0. Okay, and come to state Q3. Q3 on input 0 goes to Q0. And what is the output associated to Q0? It is 1. Okay, it is 1. And on input 1, where does Q3 go? It goes to Q3 itself. Q3 itself and output associated to Q3 is 1. So now we have drawn the transition table for the Mealy machine. So here the outputs are associated to the transitions. Now let's draw the transition diagram for this Mealy machine. So we'll start with state Q0. Here Q0 is the state here and it is the starting state. And I'll make state Q1 over here. And state Q2 let it be here. And state Q3 let it be over here. Okay, now let's fill up this one. Q0 on input 0 it goes to Q1. It goes to Q1. On what input? On input 0. And what is the output that it gives? The output it gives is also 0. So the first one is the input and the second one is the output. And then Q0 on input 1 where does it go? It goes to Q2. On input 1 it goes to Q2. And what is the output that it gives? The output that it gives is 1. So on input 1 it goes to Q2 with output 1. Okay, so now we have completed Q0. Now let's come to Q1. Q1 on input 0 it goes to Q3. It goes to Q3. So Q1 will go to Q3 on input 0. And what is the output that it gives? The output it gives is 1. And then on input 1 where does Q1 go? Q1 goes to Q2. So I can send it to Q2 over here on input 1. The output it gives is also 1. So I'll give a 1 over here. So we have completed Q1. Now let's come to Q2. Q2 on input 0 goes to Q2 itself. So Q2 goes to Q2. 
compute to itself on input 0 and what is the output that it gives? Output it gives is 1. So output is 1. And Q2 on input 1 where does it go? It goes to Q1. So it goes to Q1. On what input does it go to Q1? On input 1. And what is the output that it gives? The output that it gives is 0. So it's a 0 over here. And now we have completed Q2. Now coming to Q3. So Q3 on input 0 where does it go? It goes to Q0. So Q3 will go to Q0 on input 0. And what is the output that it gives? The output it gives is 1. Gives the output 1. And Q3 on input 1 where does it go? It goes to Q3 itself. Goes to Q3 itself. And what is the output that it gives? The output that it gives is also 1. So here we have drawn the transition diagram for the Mealy machine. So here we should notice that the inputs are also 0, 1, outputs are also 0, 1. So the first one which I have written in this color is the input, and the second one which I have written in this color, this is the output. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.